Hello, this is a Walkathon Plays, and it is November 22nd, and this is going to be a walkthrough of the No Man's Sky community event. You can see that it started, although it is just barely time, it is just barely 1800 GMT. I'm going to try something new this time. I'm going to try to do this with my networking turned off. It's turned on right now because it needed to be turned on and I believe in order to get this to even come up but I'm gonna turn it off now as soon as I take this and see if I can still complete the mission I'm on the anomaly right now with my multiplayer turned off but I did this last week and even though I uh, I did this as early as possible. There were still uh, comp stations and everything all over the community planet. So I'm actually going to go into... I've lost connected to online services. We knew about that. Let's see... I need to talk to Tethys to learn more. Tethys is the guy over here with the fish head. He's one of my... They are one of my favorite heads. I'm trying really hard to change all of my pronouns today, but I miss sometimes. Here we go. This guy who says he's actually not a geck. So you signed up to investigate this this disturbance not as been so worked up about. Ask about the disturbance, ask about the guidance. These will give different answers. I can only do once do one of them once, so I'll do disturbance now. I'll record guidance as well, and I will put that in the video as well. Look, I don't know anything about the disturbance or realities or any of that, but I actually do want to help you. Really, I do. Yeah, I believe you. Someone I used to know has gone quiet, right near where Nada picked up that odd signal. It's not like them. They're not the quiet type. I don't really expect to see them again, but if you can stop, Whatever it is, if you can stop that happening to anyone else, that's good, you know? Wow, this is uh, as much flavor as we've ever gotten in an NPC's voice. It'll be almost impossible to reach this place by traditional means. You'll need to travel by portal. That's not a surprise. Before they disappeared, my friend said something about knowledge stones. I think, well, I'm pretty sure. If you go find some of those and put your hand on them, you'll learn the coordinates you need. Good luck. Return to your ship and leave. I made the mistake <laughs> of starting up my game this morning in a green star system. I don't even remember if I have any nice lush planets in this system. Or if I'm going to have to do this in a hail of boiling... Boiling rain. Let's find out. So I've come back on a second save to see what the other thing Tethys has to say to us. Last time I did disturbances, now I'm going to ask for guidance. It'll be almost impossible to reach this planet by traditional means. You'll need to travel by portal. I picked up some information about knowledge stones. You know those little stones, those little stone columns that usually talk at you? Well, turns out they have a few more secrets. I think, well, I'm pretty sure, if you go find some of those knowledge stones and put your hand on them, you'll learn the coordinates you need. Good luck. That one wasn't nearly as wordy as the other one. So, here we go. It's worth me to a new system. Your dark moons, which happens to be a yellow system, and it should tell me it finds knowledge stones soon. Do, 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 do. Anyone see? There it is. The icon's in the lower left corner, and it looks like it's on this ringed planet. If not that, a planet behind them. As usual, it's brought us down to the portal on this world. There's a knowledge stone right over there. Let's check that one. <laughs> if I can get to it through all this cactus. 
The stones greet me with a repellent audio frequency, like a note just out of tune, and as though it has been calibrated for someone else. These look like the same ones we've seen before. The leaf sweeps over me as the pitch of the sound bends, becoming a pleasant and harmonious musical chord. In my mind, each note of the chord associates itself with, with the shape of a glyph. Musical language. I can get into that. Silly, unscanned animals. Oh, looks. Got a proto geck. I could get proto milk here if I wanted. But I don't want to. I'm done cooking for now. The stone greets me with a repellent audio frequency. Hmm, I got the same one twice. I don't think I usually do that. Another uh, a repellent audio frequency. So, like every week, we'll dial in here. that requires one of those things, I'll happily call up my Colossus and grab them. Uh, if I need to collect 60 of something that's really hard to do, I will turn the video off because who wants to watch that? Alright, get your nose down. Ah, there we go. That looks like just a grave, doesn't it? And that's what it is. Congress with the sight of death, a living static crackles and pops below the grave. My exosuit shudders as static courses through it, but the energy seems to cause me no harm. I pick out a pattern amid the bursts of static. Sentence-like structure, issuing a demand, reality here is breached and volatile, only specific materials can calm it. <laughs> 90 feline livers! I do not have 90 feline livers. I have a few though, I think. But not in my Colossus. You're gonna laugh at the name of this sh ship. I have 90 of them. Look at that. This happens to be the save file that I did all my cooking in. While there are a lot of critters around here, I'm not seeing anything that's going to give me a feline liver, so I'm really glad that I have them. I was betting that they weren't going to ask for anything that required killing things, and wow, was I wrong. Offer materials. 90 feline livers. The static... The static energy reacts violently to the presence of the items flaring towards me. It licks the materials directly from my hands, consuming them. Silence. The disturbance seems to have been stabilized. And that's it. Man, I should have left networking on. I bet I could have named some of the planets in this system. Ah, well. Before I go... I'm gonna take a picture here. Just to get the coordinates. I will put the coordinates in the comments of this video. And, and off 
I go back to the portal. Does anybody need oxygen? I wonder if that's even oxygen. I can't really tell in this color filter. And back we go. I also have an encrypted mission. The Nexus has a lot for me to do. Yes, I'm a little bit behind on my Quicksilver missions. Mi missions. Turn that in. Uh, we're going to change exit settings because I want to take a look at this system. And we're complete. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.